matchup. Ooh, okay. You know, I agree with this pick mm -hmm. from Vivi because you know Bayonetta is going to be racking up those high percents uh, unless you know unless she can get one of those huge uh, read hits or uh, you know get you off stage. You know, Vivi could potentially be living pretty long, and you know that's absolutely what Lucario wants to do. Hold on, did did Jazz use their controls? I'm not sure. Oh, I see. They seem fairly fine. Yeah, confident yeah, yeah, yeah. Al already. Because yeah, they always have like a, a specific name. I gotta make sure. But either way, both players doing very, are very pretty well. Jazzy breaking up a clean 80% on Vivi. Mm -hmm. But yeah. like I was saying, that's kind of what Vivi wants right now. Mm -hmm. All right, getting Bayonetta off stage. This is absolutely where Lucario can shine. Or a sphere pressure coming out. Such a huge hitbox that you have to deal with, especially when you're on ledge. Ooh, no punish on the uh, directional air dodge. This might be the first offer, Vivi. Oh, no, not yet. No, not quite. Ooh, oh, double team yep. should be it. Also gets boosted by Aura, and at 118%, that's going to be doing lots of knockback. No rage on Jazzy means Vivi lives a little bit long. That was such a sick ledge cancel. That was clean. That was that really was nice. All right. Aura now off the table for Vivi, but as we've seen time and time again, Vivi no stranger to the low percent Lucario gameplay. Mm -hmm. And even though Lucario is better at high percentage, he's still pretty dangerous even at low percent. And Vivi will literally like show you right now why he's so dangerous at low percent. If if, if Vivi if uh, Jazzy could stop hitting him for two seconds, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, here it is. All right. You got the Lucario to high percent? Congrats, mm -hmm. and it's an even game now. <laughs> I feel like it's, it's a little more dangerous uh, with Lucario being at high percentage because at one side of your mind thinks, okay, I can kill easier. It's easier to kill. But Lucario has exactly what he wants. He wants to be at that high, he wants that rage. He wants that high, uh, that high percentage. So he can, he's, he'll be so much stronger. And that Oris will be so deadly. What happened? I don't know. I was about to comment on, you know, Vivi's aura sphere pressure is so good, and it's so crazy that he can threaten you with that hitbox, especially when, at high aura, when, even when he's facing you, and still cancel it into a grab. Yeah. That's, oh, oh, you're dead. Yep. You're absolutely dead. That was a good neutral getup for you. Oh, no, I think Jazz was actually of jumping up, and Vivi's really good at reading those, either, either neutral getup or a, a jump, because that little, literally the frame after you get off that ledge, you're open for... Aura Sphere. Yep, all right. Yeah, Jazzy was 53 at the ledge, which is honest, it's like double kill percent. Mm -hmm. I think that would have killed at maybe 15 with that much aura. Yeah. Lucario and so close to Blast Zone as well. Gross. Now both players going on a small battlefield, which I think... Now this time on this battlefield, there's uh, there's two platforms and the, the middle platform is, you know, gone. <laughs> So I'm not sure if this stage is fine for Vivi. I know he can play in the stage just just well with Lucario. Lucario shines on platforms. However, I wonder if the lack of a middle platform would be any uh, easier for Jazzy to do their combo starters and really get Lucario up in that uh, blast zone. Yeah, I think the idea is probably going to be you know use the platforms but not really give Vivi anywhere to hide because you know if you can. If you can open up VV more, then, you know, Bayonetta gets the kill, which is absolutely what's, what she wants in this matchup. And we actually see the um, the bans by VV were Battlefield and uh, Yoshi's Story. So, you know, uh, Triplats wanted to... VV wanted to get rid of the Triplat combo extensions mm -hmm. for Bayonetta. Uh, so, you know, nice compromise, as counter picks are want to be. Yeah, very good choice by by Vivi in order to eliminate that combo from uh, that combo starter option for Jazzy, which is imperative for most Bayonetta players in order to have to rack up a lot of percentage is, is those combos. That's basically their their holy grail, kind of like Diddy's uh, banana is his holy grail, right? Mm -hmm. So right, like, like here's here comes that combo that we might be seeing right now. Oh no, just a slightly bit off. Like, Oh, you Jazz. actually parry the extreme speed? Who does that? Great parry, great punish from Jazzy with that up smash. Wow. Who Taking can ever off. punish extreme speed? Song with extreme speed. Ha ha ha. I'm so funny. Thank you. I'll see myself out. Oh, we can't. Ooh. We'll still be doing it, actually. That double team. Oh. 
Even with, you know, pretty much no aura. Are you doing it? All right. Going back to neutral. VB using that aura sphere movement. And really no one's no one's quite committing it just yet. Jazz would be uh, doing a great job of using their movement. Uh, you know, making sure that any sort of witch twists or uh, ABKs are not going to be too easy to punish. So right now, Jazzy keeping Vivi in the air as much as they could so in order to make sure that they can are able to use those stars. But coming in with a side smash, coming and, and uh, or that forward smash coming in and taking off Vivi's second stock. Now again, Jazzy staying in the air with Vivi, making sure that she that they are able to keep Lucario off the ground because that's clearly where Vivi is able to be more comfortable with Lucario. I want to say uh, that F smash was actually, it was so good because so much of Lucario's uh, pressure is based around respecting that aura sphere. If you're scared of the aura sphere, the Lucario has unlocked sandbox mode and can do any pressure they want. But, you know, Jazzy showing the resolve to, you know, not be scared and just throw out the big fist and it paid out dividends. And also, as like for a little bit earlier, we can see Jazzy keeping a, a good distance between away from the, uh, from Vivi's hitboxes and his range. But that Orister will be taking Jazzy back to zero. But again, Jazzy is in a really good spot. I mean, Vivi may be at high aura at the moment, and that could prove devious for uh, for Jazzy. But oh, this you is know what, what I was saying. You know, Lucario, his pressure is based on the aura sphere, and that's for good reason. Ooh, all right. Oh, uh, Jazzy's Ooh. at kill percent right now. Yep, yep. And Mess. just like that, reading the jump from ledge with the back air, you're dead at 50. And that's all it takes. He has just high aura, too, so yeah. that was definitely just death. That is all it takes. Right here. Oh, no. Uh, they were at 60, which oh. I think they still would have been dead at 50. Yeah, they would have. And then we cover, and here comes reading that jump. And just yep. annihilating them with Aura Sphere, yup. Or no, yeah, Aura Sphere. No, it was uh, the back air. Or the back air? Yeah. You see, I see blue, and I'm just like, ah, yes, Aura Sphere. <laughs> my, <laughs> little, my little pea brain sphere. is so simple. Oh, wow. That was two uh, get up, like, reads that Vivi did mm -hmm. from ledge. Yeah.